gonna make myself a new custom pizza cutter. Took the wheel off. Uh, here's the handle I'm gonna use for it. And then I'm just slowly cutting the plastic away. And then from there I'll start trying to put a plan together. Got this at that vintage hardware store that I got that super thin handle from right there. Alright, let me get back to work. to remove that whole notch so I'll plug on okay this is how far I got it. hole cut want to get it a little bit deeper so I can get it to this but it's more or less gonna have like this type of hopefully pattern but just a smaller version make it short so we gotta drop the head in a little bit more I think by the time it's all okay. I think by the time it's all shaped up I'm not gonna need any kind of guards for my fingers professional because this will be dropped down a little bit. This will be dropped down. Alright. That's it for tonight. Got my little setup out here on the side of the house. So I don't make a mess in the garage. That's my favorite axe right there. What do you think? Did a little shaping, clean it up, got a little more work to do to get the head deeper in there. This thing's going to be sweet, if it's perfect. Alright guys, a little update on my axe handle custom. Custom pizza cutter, it's coming along. I just wanted to show you before I uh, um, burn the grain and seal it. And to seal it, I'm going to use um, coconut oil. My buddy Ray over at uh, World's Fastest 2 shared that trick because it's food grade safe. It seals the wood, puts a nice finish on it. So we're going to try some coconut oil. So I'll show you. Oh, oh show you guys when I uh, when I finish it but I'm ecstatic I can't believe how well it looks how good it came out after the burn get the wood grain lit up on it all right I've got my uh head in there epoxied up and I put some wedges in because well that's an axe hang right axe handle so now I just got to let that dry and then I'll uh, cut those wedges down flush and we'll be in business got my vise 
my little mini vice attached to the steering wheel. All done. Double wedge. One on each side. It's just got to dry up now. I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours or so. Can't believe it. How well it came out. I'm so excited about it. My buddy Ray over at World's Fastest Tube on YouTube. He was playing around with some uh, some different uh, burls and wood and spiked my interest and he's the one that built me this custom uh, custom pizza cutter so it got me excited got my wheels going finished it in the coconut oil like Ray does and I just got expired inspired watching Awesome. We'll give it a try tomorrow and then I'll put the video together. Okay, showtime. two wedges in there because it is an axe handle gotta have your wedges oh geez oh my flawless <laughs> this is wild it's actually way more comfortable than this because it's a shorter this jams you up jams your wrists up wow this is an easy rider well we've got art has already put in a request for one Art's already put in a request for one because he's got uh, a bad wrist, so. A couple different prototypes we're gonna work with and see. Might be onto something here. Place your orders. All right, we got a uh, fully loaded veggie. And this will be our ultimate test. If we can blast through all these veggies, I think we already know the answer. It's a success, this pizza cutter, but... The flick. <laughs> 